everyone and welcome back to our let's play of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm Tex and I'm here with Law and Griffin again. Hello. Never have I felt more connected with the animus. I know, it's like I'm becoming one with the an- anyway. <laughs> so with your animes and mangoes. <laughs> mangoes. <laughs> mangoes. Oh, those are some delicious mangoes that we're looking at. Anyway. Listen. <laughs> right, right off the bat, huh? Right, right off, the, off bat. the bat. I mean, this game does it for us. You're not wrong. So, um, okay. We left off with Monica addressing the rest of the club. Shall we resume then? Yes, we shall. Let's get, let's let's get back go. into the plot stuff. Okay, everyone. Wow, what the fuck was that voice? We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, oh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Says you, bitch. Listen. <clears throat> we'll just end up embarrassing <clears throat> ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. <laughs> ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Yeah, that's the cool part. Mm -hmm. Sayori's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Guys, my voice in A condition for this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, <laughs> you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. Uh, I agree with Natsuki for once in my goddamn life. It's about goddamn time. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. No, 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 no. Guys. No, 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 honey. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Okay, I slipped out of teenager voice. <laughs> Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to, to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. Where? I mean... <laughs> I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. That's because you're the only ones in the club. <laughs> if we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same as I poke you in the eye. I, know, I was going to mention that. Oh, God damn it! First with the hair and now this bullshit? What's our problem with Natsuki? Jeez. 
And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Why do we get the distinct impression this is going to go in a perfect, a perfect blue direction? <laughs> yeah. Oh my oh, god. The voice crack. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's all about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Oh, no, Sayori, so not we, the can we not? again. Not the flowers. <laughs> can we not? <laughs> Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? You know, I just noticed. Hmm? Monica's the only one that's actually directly facing us. Everyone is at a three-fourths angle. Oh, yeah. huh, you're not wrong. Huh. Anyway, sorry. It's just a random thing. See, Monica wants to show off her unstuffed bra. Mangoes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she... she wants to show us our wonderful mangoes. She, yeah, she's, mangoes. A, she's a trendsetter, so to speak. Oh, yes. Well, she's a bit more direct anyway. Hey. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it, all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem and embarrassing the fuck out of ourselves and possibly tripping and falling in front of everyone, then I know you can do it. Amazing. Woo, performance anxiety. Hmm. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Outside of the noises that we made, I mean. Listen. Oh, well, yeah, of course, another. Yeah, we're listening. It's, it's a very quiet noise. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I forgot his name was Mother Burn. <laughs> <laughs> every time, okay, every time we come back to this, and this kind of tells you, but whenever we're leaving off in the recordings, but every time we come back to this, I'm like, oh, it's Mother Barton. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It's cool, it's cool. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do to, is to help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. That's right, bitch. Uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Phew. <laughs> Thanks, Natsuki. I can't. <laughs> what about um. you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around to everyone else's expectant faces. Fine. I guess I don't really have a choice. No, you don't. <laughs> That's everyone. <laughs> I can hear you minimizing the voice crack. Listen. <laughs> I'm trying so desperately. Look, I'm going through reviews puberty here, all right? Cut me some slack. Re reviews, reviews puberty. puberty. <laughs> Re reverse. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is going to be on the internet forever. <laughs> You're going through reviews, puberty. We're uh, going to have to talk about that one, sir. Listen. <laughs> You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. I'm so giggling. <laughs> oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Monica! This is too sudden! What are you doing with your fingers? <laughs> well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. 
Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her the way they fly oh. out of my shirt. <laughs> my mangoes. I couldn't Delicious. think of the rest of that. <laughs> <laughs> her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is, it, is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. As they should, because she is performing. Mm -hmm. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. Well done! <gasps> Congratulations! Congratulations! For the poem we didn't read. That, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I I'll go next. Oh, damn. What? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yes, because someone set me on fire. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Tex. <laughs> oh, Tex. Stop oh. setting shy young ladies on fire. <laughs> oh, that Mo the Burton. <laughs> I guess they were preparing a Molotov cocktail? I oh mean, God, come on. But <laughs> <laughs> Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously <gasps> glances at each of, e e of us. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. Each I guess we're us. getting a preview of the content matter of the poem right away. I guess. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Hmm. Huh. Yuri, is that the... What? I was gonna say, isn't that the second time that she's been related to something with eyes? Yeah. yeah, no, The Eye of Markov was the book that she, uh, that she gave us at the start. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Funny. Anyway. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like I'm going happened... to read this in the most way that I can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture that voice coming out of Yuri now. No, Griffin's like deep, <coughs> bassy voice. <laughs> Is. His, what was it, review to puberty? Roses no. are red, violets are blue. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Alright, well okay. that's enough of that. <laughs> 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 it's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform to the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in the structure that she enunciates with the perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed, concealed inside her head. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. She's panting heavily and breathing and well, red in the face. I was gonna say... I mean, let's, let's, let's just continue. Yuri snaps <laughs> back into reality. The whoops that goes gravity and glances around her, so she, even as she's bewildered by I can't read today. <laughs> as if she bewildered even herself. Mum yes. spaghetti. <laughs> yes. I. It's up to me to save this situation. I stick my thumb right up her ass. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> I'm the first to start applauding. <laughs> Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. 
It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her. It's just we were all so distracted by her thumbs. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. The temptation to fall through with the poncho was so overwhelming. Oh god, okay. Or whatever the fuck they call it. We were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good! Thank you for sharing! Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay! I guess I'm next then! Sayori hops off the chair and cheerfully walks over to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. No! No, Sayori, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no! I'm sensing a theme here. You and your flowers. Uh, Stop caressing your flowers! <laughs> Sex jokes. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. What? I think we can tell that you're giggling, bitch! <laughs> Don't push me. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. Oh my. Listen. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah. Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I love the, in your own head, and you're like, so just shot of Sayori reading it quietly and not right. actually saying it out loud. Right? <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. Soft voice. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think too much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what <laughs> Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. I love the implication, especially given the voice that Griffin has given her. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I knew. It. Oh no. I thought oh, I knew no. through and through. Oh no. Stop uh, reaching into her. Listen. <laughs> Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! <laughs> oh I know! <laughs> God damn. Good job, Sayori. <laughs> GG, Sayori. GG. GG, easy. Hey, GG, no re. <laughs> Even Mother Barton liked it. Guess that's a good sign. <laughs> what does that even mean? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club, Lore. Excuse me. <laughs> it came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. Screaming death metal. Yeah. <laughs> that, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more we don't have much time before the festival you know okay now who's next Natsuki <laughs> don't make me go before mow the Barton it's not like I can compare to you guys anyway might as well let Mother Barton lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Wow. <laughs> wow, thanks, Natsuki. Natsuki. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, she's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's great. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. 
I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. Okay, uh, so I think this would probably be a good place for us to stop today. For right now? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I think this works. Let's live it on the cliffhanger of Mo the Barton yeah. going to deliver his epic poem. Will Mo the Barton deliver on their poem? Will cybernetic pink guy actually stop sounding like a prepubescent boy? <laughs> Will he stop <laughs> <laughs> next time. Same IR time, same IR channel. Next time on Dragon Ball's shit. <laughs> <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball shit. <laughs> Isn't that just all of the anime, though? Uh -huh. I mean, you're not wrong. Basically. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> all righty. Shots so... fired, indeed. Okay, well, all right. we'll see you next time. Bye. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. <laughs>